Before we begin, this is not a sponsored video. None of these websites have paid me to do a review. This is all just my recommendation and I am sure you will benefit greatly if you watch till the end. So the first website is studymind.co.uk. They're an official UK government partner. They've got reviews from thousands of students claiming that they're the best and I can say that they are because I've used some of their resources. So they have resources for both GCSC and A-levels but we'll be focusing on GCSEs or IGCSEs for this video. So you have to go to the resources if you are interested in IGCSE past paper practice, which is the focus of today's video. Otherwise, if you're also interested in tutoring and online courses, you can look at their tutors, which you can see from here under the GCSE tab. Right now, let's just get straight into the main topic, which is GCSE and A-level past papers or exam practice questions. So you're going to go to resources and click this over here. Once you do that, it'll come up with these options. So we're going to choose GCSC. Then you can see for each subject, they have a section for each exam board. So we are interested in IGCSC. So for example, IGCSC chemistry. Now here we have Edexcel IGCSC chemistry past papers. And now this is the mind blowing part. You can see here that for literally every single chapter, you have a question paper and a mark scheme. So this is the best part about studymind.co.uk. You can practice by topic. So you can scroll down here, for example, if you are really bad in um, synthetic polymers. So click here, you will get an entire question paper with questions from past papers specifically for synthetic polymers. They've even given you the time allowed. And if you don't know how to answer some questions, don't worry, you can go back and look at the mark scheme for the same question. So this is a life-saving website because you don't have to go around scanning past papers yourself for questions on the topics that you're weak in. Okay, now if you're not interested in topic by topic question papers, then you do have the normal question papers as well, the way they come in the final exam, which are not topic wise. So you can see them here as well, old spec and new spec both. Okay, so this is why Study Mind is so great. You have topic by topic practice questions and also normal pa past paper questions. Now, if you go to resources again, there are also notes available. So GCSC and A level revision notes, click on that and you will come here and you can choose the topic you're interested in. You can see it from the side as well. Okay, so for example, IGCSC biology and you have notes for Cambridge IGCSC Biology and Adexo Pearson IGCSC Biology. Click on those, topic by topic notes are available. And this is all completely free. Some aspects might be paid, but as you can see, all these notes are free. You can even um, sign up to get access to some free tutorials, but most of the good stuff is free. So this site is a lifesaver for IGCSE students who want specifically practice topic by topic. Okay, moving on, let's go to a similar website, which is savemyexams.co.uk. And these resources do what they say they do. They do improve your grades by 2x. And let's just look at this as well. So they have more options than study mind in the sense that they have separate sections for GCSE and IGCSE. And it's not just for... Um, the science subject. As you saw in Study Mind, there was more focus on the science subjects, but in IGCSC, we don't just have science subjects, we have maths, economics, English language. So let's look at economics, for example. They have for Cambridge IGCSC economics. They have topic questions, revision notes, and past papers. So topic questions, once again, is the most life saving thing, right? So you go down basic economic problem, you have questions on each chapter. So for example, you're not good in price elasticity of demand, click on that and now you have questions on this topic. Now the difference here in Save My Exams, they're not directly from the past paper, so you don't have a question paper format like you had in Study Mind. You don't have a downloadable PDF. You have this sort of quiz type of questions. You can even download a PDF if you want, but you will need to join savemyexams.co.uk to do so. So this is the basic difference between studymind.co.uk and Save My Exams. Um, if you go, for example, to the um, to maths, IGCSE maths, and you went to revision notes, they have revision notes as well. Once again, you cannot download these unless you join. They even have great examples. So this is really especially great for maths. You can test yourself after looking at the notes. 
and it takes you to the test area which is actually the topic questions area and lastly let's look at past papers so maths past papers for example now these are downloadable obviously for the new spec and old spec as well they have all the question papers and mark schemes here so if you're ever confused where do i access past papers even if they're not topic wise this is a place to go savemyexams.co.uk because they have more of a variety they have maths all the sciences economics english language geography and some other subjects as well so they have a wider variety whereas study mind has a better layout of their website but they have more of a focus on science subjects so that's savemyexams.co.uk another life-saving website so next there's physics and maths teachers now you might think it's called physics and maths teachers so it only has for physics and maths but no they do have obviously the most resources in physics and maths but they do have for biology chemistry english economics and geography as well even for psychology and computer science as you can see from their home page so for example let's go to economics so over here you can see they have for a levels international a levels they don't seem to have for igcsc so let's ignore that and let's go to maths so maths papers if you go down they have lots of papers for aqa cambridge adexel and all the other exam boards um, these are for the old specifications so you can see they have it in this way now to get topic by topic uh, past paper question you will go to this GCSE IGCSE tab and you will select revision so for example for physics if you need revision and you will select your board so for example IDEXL IGCSE for me I would go here and then you can see by topic you have papers dedicated for each topic and practical skills as well so this is really another life-saving website you can navigate and see other resources maybe you're interested in a level so you can look at that you can find a tutor through them as well if you're interested in that so these are my three main life-saving websites for igcse exam practice or igcse past paper practice specifically topic by topic practice and i'm sure if you start using these websites regularly instead of trying to do past papers on your own if you do them topic by topic this will strengthen your knowledge more because you'll get better in the topics that you are weaker in and when you do your final past paper practice as a whole you will find that you get a higher grade in your practices so that's it for this video please share if you found this useful comment down below what other kinds of videos you'd like to see from me and don't forget to give this video a like that's it for now see you in the next one